I'm getting ready to take these cushions from the front dinette of that 1954 King into the upholstery shop. I wanted to kind of break it down a little bit, show you what they look like before I get a quote on these and get all the parts and pieces necessary to do these because they are so different from what you've seen me do in the past. But hey, if you're getting any kind of value out of any of these videos, I would appreciate it if you'd just kind of boop, hit the like button. Do it right now. Just take a minute. All right, hit the subscription and uh, keep watching. But anyway, I'm going to take you through what these look like, what they're made of, and what we're probably going to go back with, which will be a little bit different than what we do. But I think these are pretty cool from the 1950s. All right, as you can see, I've got this one kind of set up. So it sits up like this when you're at the dinette. This one has uh, some vinyl on it. I don't know that we're going back with vinyl. So uh, it sits down flat. But how does it sit down flat, you ask? Let's look right here. Look at the sincerity of this mechanism. I mean, this is 1954, and look at how stout that is. I mean, this is sincere metal. That's heck for stout, man. So this is one that's gonna sit up back like that, and it's gonna fall down. But uh, let's take a look over here. Look at that. Look at how thick just the frame is. That's a two by two. And look at how thick just even on the corners it is. Now, you're gonna notice that it's got these springs to help hold it up. Then underneath it, you can't really see it underneath this burlap. That burlap will tell you how old this is. But look at this. There's a coil spring there. And then up a little bit higher, there's another wire spring holding this whole piece together. So that is pretty heavy duty. Now I think on this side we can look here and you can see that there is, I'm gonna guess that foam was probably added at a later date. So I don't even think that is part of it, but I'll find out at the upholstery shop. But they all did, oh, what's that? Okay, we'll look at that later. But uh, they did have this kind of cotton material. See that? Look at that cotton. And horsehair. That's horsehair. That's how you know it's the 50s. That's covering up those springs we just looked at. So we're gonna take these, drop them off at uh, our new guy, our new upholsterer. Gonna get the idea of what we should be doing with these. And we'll get the quote. And I'm gonna let you know what this is gonna cost just stopped by American Trim and Upholstery. This is, they're, they're not paying me, no sponsorship. But anyway, this is where I get uh, a lot of my upholstery material. And uh, I got gems today coming on that King that we've been working on. It's a silver tweed. It's a real durable fabric, pretty cool. We're gonna run over to my upholsterer and uh, drop this off and he's gonna get going on those seats. While I am waiting on the upholstery, I thought, why not get started on building the dinette seating? This is going to be the facing inside. Facing inside, this is the door side, and that is not the door side. And so I always tell you, do not throw anything away until you've already made the next one. And I'm going to show you why right now. Uh, if you look at these, they look identical except that they're flipped, right? Which you would think, sure. So I always start with the door side. I don't know why, I just do. Now, first thing you want to look, of course, this leg right there goes all the way out to the end here see it's all the way out to the end that makes sense because there's a little door right here little access door as you come in the door side and then like always we've got a little rail to make our bed put the table down but on this one they just went simply about six inches in because that's where the curve is so the actual floor is going to end here 
but the curve comes out six inches. So that's why these two legs are six inches in. So I thought, well, you know, I'm a measure guy. I'm gonna measure, I'm, you know, they're the same, but let me measure them. So I go to the door side, 43 on the button. Why do I always measure both sides? I don't know, I just do. 43 on the button. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna get started on that one. I'm just gonna make double of everything. But for some reason, I'm like, now nah, measure it, just measure it. Not 43 on the button, 44. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Let me measure this one. 44. So, remember, no matter, then these are in terrible shape. But I kept them, and I kept them, and fortunately I did. Because there's a whole inch difference, and that would have made a difference when I got my upholstery back, and it didn't fit. Wanted to give you an update on the seats. Uh, we're kind of piecemealing this, uh, this video together, because some of that video is in the summer. You know, we were dropping things off and getting them together, and now we're building, and now we're waiting, and we're in between, and just things are happening, but I'm trying to do everything I can as we go. And uh, so I wanted to show you the seating. You're, you're thinking to yourself, looks kind of low. Well, it is, but if you remember back to the beginning of the video, or for me, three months ago, when we dropped those seats off, they were like that much taller. They were at least, I don't know, six inches maybe. Jim said he thinks they were six. I think they're, gosh dog, I think they're a bit eight. So then you're talking about, you're gonna be sitting, you know, six plus, you know, let's say seven plus 11 is 18 inches. You're gonna be somewhere around 17, 18 inches, which is ideal for a normal sized person to sit down. Cause it sits up really high right here. And you can see that the frame, it's just framed out. And that's the way the King is built on the seats as well. It has a wooden frame all the way around. And then when you pick it up and pull it out, it'll just sit right here halfway. So I've got these rebuilt to the exacting specification of the manufacturer. I've got them leveled out. Every level this way, level that way. So this is what they're gonna look like. Down here will be amber shellac. This will not be, this will not be touched because that's the way it was at the factory. But this will be amber shellac. This is gonna be where the kitchen goes. So the kitchen starts here, so you'll never see this at all. So that's why there's nothing there. Right here will be amber shellac. And uh, oh, I need, to, I need to do a little better job of sanding that down. And there will be a door here. Now from the factory, it had a little door, I think, that. Uh, pop down. I don't like that necessarily when it falls down. So I think we may do uh, a door that pops up or even out, but not this way. That would be weird. So we'll, we'll get, we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it, but this is how far we are. We're really right now just waiting on upholstery and uh, we'll finish these up. And looky here. I've got these king seats back. Remember, these are like a dinette, or a dinette, obviously they're like a dinette, like a diner seat. Look at this. This is beautiful. Let me show you some of the ins and outs of this. We use that tweed fabric. Look at that. Cause we've got a lot of silvers going on and aluminum going on in there. So this kind of, or not kind of, it really does match. Now look at that big old hinge. We talked about that earlier, but look at this. Look at how thick those are. You're talking about comfort. This course lays down into a bed and then when it's time, it just sits up just like that, just like a seat. Now underneath, if we can kind of take a quick look here. This is the underneath of the other one. It's got all repaired springs underneath, because these were springs, if you remember. And brand new burlap, brand new padding. You can kind of see right here, that pink right there. Just look at the craftsmanship on that. Take a look at that hinge. These dogs were built to last. These are nice, super nice. 
By now, I'm sure you've probably watched our uh, reveal. So we had, we kind of, if you remember, had a little emergency and had to get this out a little quicker than uh, we normally would because uh, we had to get, uh, we had to get show on the road. But we still have these things and a couple of videos I wanted to show you. But here's our king seating. All right, let's take a look at the final product. You can see that amber shellac down there and that door we were talking about and there's the seating. Sorry about the lighting. We're getting ready to take this over to Jim. Look at how nice that turned out. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Just look at that tweed. Tweed. I mean, that's just a great looking front end.